Hey guys, this is just a super quick video um, to show you how I use the Helix tool and the little compass dewey that um, was that were posted earlier. Uh, I use these extensively in my doodles and so I'm just going to show you how I do it. I don't have a really great angle um, with my camera because I don't have my tripod set up right now. But what I use is um, mainly these little the little holes that you see and I'm gonna just see if you are gonna be able to tell what I'm doing so I'm just holding this down I hold down the outside edge and I just pick a hole and make circles I also use the outside edge to make big circles all right so that's what I came up with just using that and then I use the little little um, circle templates to just add smaller little Ooh, that one didn't go good because my I let my thing wiggle um, but yeah just to make smaller little circles and then you can also make kind of bullseye things if you um, Turn the helix around and use the circle templates in size order. You know what I'm saying. I haven't had enough, nearly enough caffeine today. And I'm doing this kind of messy because I just want to make this super quick. But that's also the great thing about these friction pens. They're erasable. But they're also not permanent because if your artwork gets hot, it will um, disappear. Jasmine, what are you eating? Jazzy, come here. Come here, what are you eating? <sighs> you come here. You come right here. You, you, What are you eating? That's a bad girl. Don't eat things. All right. Sorry about that. Um, the perils of parenthood. Okay, so this little Dewey is... Um, okay, this part is similar. So it's got little holes right here. See the little holes? And so it works basically the same way. I hold it down, stick the pin in a hole, and just draw a circle. And then it's also got these little uh, circle deweys. So again, you can just make, you know, all kinds of little, little circle deweys. And again, I'm not, I'm not being very neat with this because I'm trying to hurry. So in, uh, I love this because it makes bigger circles for me. So what you do is you just hold down the white the white part, the rotating part, the middle, well, the middle part, and then you've got all these little holes along the, this part, and you just hold that down and stick your pin in a hole, and then you can make really big circles. What's that? Ta-da! The end!